Well, there are, there's a convergence, an unprecedented convergence of essentially three factors, technological factors that are happening, uh, that are creating a very potentially dangerous environment for the privacy of the public. And that is essentially the, the, the ease by which we're able to find identity tagged uh, images on the web, the accuracy of face recognition technology and algorithms, the phenomenal improvement that has happened, and the third factor is the availability, uh, ready availability of cameras in the pockets of the consumer, in the iPhones and the Blackberries and the point and shoot cameras that they have. What this does is that it creates an environment that where someone could casually just snap a photo of somebody and potentially be able to do a search against repositories that have been built by harvesting identity tagged images from the web and perhaps may even develop an identity who the person that might be walking in front of them is. You add to that a dimension where the web engines have become very sophisticated in extracting tidbits of information about us and now we have the ability to create a, a total profile that pierces the anonymity of a person that's standing in front of us. This is something that we have cherished in the past, our anonymity to walk in a, in a society and now all of a sudden the convergence of all these technological factors is threatening to link our online identity which has become very rich with our offline presence which we have always lived with anonymity and privacy. See, the, the, the issue is a question of changing attitude towards what an image is. Today an image might be thought of as basically a social entertainment. The view must begin to change to start regarding the images just like you regard your healthcare records and other financial information. These are personally identifiable information, which means they must be protected at the same level of standards. I think the social media uh, community has become to, to be aware of these factors, but they have a long way to go. Uh, in fact, the problem is not necessarily the social media. The problem happens to be that the web or the cloud is completely open and is filled with, with images that can be harvested. I see the web crawlers and the web engines that are coming in every day, sweeping through, picking up every image that they can find, and if there's an identity tag, creating the association between the identity and the facial image. What we need here is a responsible commitment that they cannot make those databases available uh, for general queries about identity. Um, if they are to be allowed to continue to crawl the web openly or else we do risk a serious, serious consequence to the privacy. It's not the technology that I'm, 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 I'm debating here. The technology has very legitimate applications in society. What I'm debating here is the manner by which databases are being built freely and openly and easily. <laughs> No, it's not a surprise. It is the result of millions and millions of dollars of investments and years of development that has taken place and the ac active participation of academia, industry, and many other stakeholders who find value in, in this. I still remember the day 20 years ago when I walked into my lab and a camera connected to my computer, which was, which was compiling a program related to face recognition the night before, I came in, turned on the light, and the computer ran the algorithm which recognized me. It had two or three people in the database and it was halting because its speed was very, very slow and it could only recognize three or four people. That was 20 years ago. Today, the algorithms are a million times more accurate and a million times faster than the rudimentary algorithm that launched an industry in face recognition. I don't see this ending. Technological progress will continue. As a consequence, the threat of, of deployment of this type of algorithm could be real because the sizes of the databases are going to be in the millions. In fact, today there are databases that are harvested from the web that exceed the population of the Earth. And so improvements in the algorithm will only make the threat or the perfect storm even more real.
And that's why responsible use is very relevant today and more relevant than it was 20 years ago.